Well, hello, human fellow Homo sapiens. Today we're gonna learn how to use a fucking pitch bend function in LMMS. Excuse my language, but it's like eight in the morning. So what you wanna do? I think here's some so here's a, um a word of advice. Pitch bend does not work on VST plugins or sound fonts, which kind of sucks. But hopefully they'll have support for it soon. Right now I believe they have pitch bend for this. Um. And the only ones I know for sure are Triple Oscillator and Audiophile Processor. Although I think Nescaline, Nescaline, and Freeboy do have it along with Bit Invader. I really don't use those that often. I know for a fact Expressive has um, um, pitch bend support, and I think 5 does too. Just, just try and see what works. So, for example, I wanna, um, let's say, I'll just lower this thing because this thing's freaking loud by default. Let's say I want to make this pitch bend like like you want to make it like an FL Studio slide, right? So you want to make it like so. Let's make this slide from D four to D five. Oops, that's a really long note. Um, go like this. Then we click this button. This opens the pitch bend menu. Look how cool it looks. So already you can tell this is our starting point. And what you want to do is click another random place right here, and that's going to be your ending point. And you can choose where it gets, like, where, how far it gets to end, and uh, what octave and or note it gets to end. So right now, I just want to get it to D5. So this is what's going to happen when I do this. Cool, right? There's other ways I can edit it, this too. Like, I could just do this. That way, you can just stay in a single note, and then change, like, at a certain point. Isn't that cool? And then we can just edit how specific we want to change it. So right now I'm at the default 1 8th, but if I can change the quantization to 1 16th, I can be more precise. So on and so forth. I can't even be more precise. I'm just make it very wobbly. Very cool. Because, you know, th that's pitch band. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I rarely use it, but when I do use it, I try to make it sound okay. It can get even further. I, you know what I'm saying, the quantization really helps it. Um, let's see. You might be thinking, why am I need this? Because, you might, you never know when you need pitch bend. Which is something I wish they taught me. Because I would use them more often if they did, but they didn't, so well. Boop. Let's just add the sliding function, the, 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 the pitch bend, not sliding. Sliding is FL Studio. Pitch bend is what is FL LMS, yeah. an example here. Just add another one here. See how I'm, I'm like I'm changing. I'm, I'm being minuscule about this pitch bend. Right? 
and yeah, that's Pitch Bend. I hope you like this video tutorial. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about Pitch Bend. Um, a little note if I try doing this on Sound Font Player, this is what I get. It doesn't really work that well. Along with a VST plugin, let's say I want to load up Keyzone. I mean, not Keyzone, Keyscape. I, I forgot the name. Okay, just a VST plugin. It won't work. But it won't be affected by the weird thing that it does with SoundCloud Player. So, yeah. That was my quick guide on Pitch Bend, and I hope you enjoyed. By the way, I'm not saving this project.